In the last two videos, we started our look at the envelope editor. We covered the basics, such as working with the edit points and their curved shapes. In this video, we'll continue our look at the editor and more specifically, the various articulation editors in Olgun. The articulation section is where you ultimately determine which area of the instrument is being affected by the envelope that is currently displayed in the editor. Think of it like this. The editor target menu will allow you to select which area you wish to apply an envelope curve to. For example, the master volume. Then from the second menu, the articulation part will determine exactly which aspect of the volume you wish to articulate. It could be something simple, such as an envelope to control the volume over time by using envelope articulation. Or it could be something more specific, such as key mapping, which will allow you to determine the different volumes for different keys on your MIDI controller. So let's take a look at the differences between these articulation editors. First up is envelope. This curve is used to apply a standard ADSR envelope to whichever area you are targeting. In this case, we'll stick with the master volume for sake of simplicity. This curve editor is broken into four sections, attack, decay, sustain, and release. The attack will dictate how fast the level of the curve reaches its peak value. And as we are applying this curve to the instrument's master volume, it would control how fast the maximum volume is reached after a note is played. The benefit of being able to edit the attack in this editor is that you have control over the shape of the attack, whereas most ADSR envelopes have a fixed curve and allow you to set only the attack's length. It is possible, of course, in Ogun to set the attack as well, as this is the fundamental element of an attack curve. This is done by dragging left or right the attack curve's edit point. The attack scale control is used to scale the attack amount that is specified in the envelope editor. A value of 100% would produce no change to the attack time. Values higher than 100 would begin to apply a positive scaling to the attack time, whereas values less than 100 will apply negative scaling. Drag the same edit point up or down to set the maximum level of the curve. As mentioned, using this editor, you can control the shape of the attack curve. This can be done by adding or moving various edit points. Of course, you can also set the type of curve as we looked at in an earlier chapter. And don't forget that you can also use the tension points to tweak the curve shape. The next step is the curve decay. This is the length of time in the volume curve where the level is held at the attack's maximum level. As with the attack, you can adjust the length of the decay using the edit point. And of course, don't be afraid to create your own custom curve by adding and moving edit points. As with the attack, you can also apply positive and negative scaling to the decay time. Drag the decay's final edit point up or down to set its level. And again here, that would be the instrument's volume at this stage of the envelope. Use the sustain parameter to apply an offset to the decay's level. Any point in the curve that comes after the decay and sustain is called release. Release is the time after the note is released that the level falls to infinity. Use the edit points behind the sustain level to tweak the release curve. Use the release parameter to apply positive and negative scaling to the release curve. Click the tempo option to enable tempo edit mode, when in this mode, your edits will be based on measurements of the project's tempo. Use the scroll bar to scroll and zoom through the editor. The second articulation I want to look at is LFO. This allows you to add custom shape LFOs to a specific target. To access the editor, select LFO from the articulator part menu. 
Most of the parameters you see in this editor are the same that we already have looked at, with the exception of a few controls that manipulate various aspects of an LFO. Speed controls the frequency of the LFO. Tension works much in the same way as the tension handles that you use when editing a curve directly. It controls the shape of the LFO's waveform. Skew will, as the name suggests, skew the angle of the LFO's waveform. Pulse width alters the size of each pulse in the LFO's waveform. And of course, it is possible to edit the curves directly using edit points. So in this video, we took a look at editing the articulator parts, envelope and LFO. In the next video, we'll take a look at some editing tools found in the envelopes editor option menu.